largest supporters of ferry service from outside Richmond. Glad to have you here. So welcome to the inauguration of the best commute to work anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area, right? And how many of you rode with Mayor Buck this morning on that first 610 ride? Great. So this is truly a great day for Richmond and also the San Francisco Bay Area because today, after a 61 year absence, regular sustainable ferry service from Richmond is back. And we're going to work to build the ridership and expand this service to late evenings and weekends, right? And it's appropriate that we celebrate this momentous event in this historic building, which formerly housed a Ford auto plant and also helped support the World War II effort. And you heard a number of the Rosies are here who worked in the shipyards and one of them told me she took the ferry from San Francisco to Richmond to work in the shipyards during World War II. So just like this Ford building has been uh, seen a, a renaissance, so has ferry service around the bay. And we may not know this, but ferries between Richmond and San Francisco do have a long history. And for those of us who live in Richmond and know McDonald Avenue, that the idea started with someone named Augustine McDonald, who the street's named after, who visited Point Richmond in 1895 and conceived the idea of having the Transcontinental Railroad end here in Richmond and then to have a ferry connection to San Francisco. And in 1900, five years later, that rail and that ferry service started. It only took five years. Imagine if we could act that fast today. So this ferry service will not only be a benefit for Richmond, it will benefit the entire Bay Area. It will make our air cleaner and our community. And this ferry service didn't just happen. It took leadership in the Bay Area and around the state to make this possible, and we've heard a bit about that from Assemblymember Wicks. But this would not have happened without the local efforts here in Contra Costa and in Richmond. And I want to start first by saying that the voters of Contra Costa in 2004 approved a new half-cent transportation sales tax. How many of you remember Measure J? I have my voter pamphlet from 2004. And it was that measure that provides the operational funding needed to support this ferry. Um, I served on the Transportation Authority at Contra Costa back in 2004 and was part of developing the spending plan that we put before voters. And there's a few of us still left. I see Amy Ward and I see uh, Julie Pierce and Janet Abelson, all of whom we served together on this committee in 2004. And we all remember the many discussions about including funding for Richmond Ferry. And there were some who said, don't put the money toward ferries, put it to other things. But in the end, those of us who supported a ferry were successful in allocating $45 million to ferry service. And the voters approved it. We just didn't think it was going to take 15 years, but I'm really happy that starting today, which is my birthday, so that's great. Um, and I also want to call out the leadership of the city of Richmond, especially Mayor Tom Buck, who was the strongest supporter for ferry service in Richmond city government. Tom Buck, as both a council member and as a mayor, spent countless hours working to make this a reality. He worked with city staff, the Transportation Authority staff, regional and state agencies, with WIDA. So Tom, many people just don't know how, where are you Tom? Don't know how many hours you put in, and you put in lots. Finally, let me end with a commitment towards our clean technology future. As a member of the California Air Resources Board, I am proud that 
our agency funded the construction of the first ever non-polluting, zero emission, hydrogen fuel cell electric prairie boat that is being built right now in the city of Alameda. And that is a pilot program. And I am working with the Bay Area Air Quality Management District that I serve on and others to identify funding to bring this zero emission ferry boat to Richmond. And our State Air Board is committed to eventually having a fleet of all non-polluting ferry boats on San Francisco Bay. That is the future. So again, the Bay Area will continue to lead the way, and I will end with, out of deference to um, Mr. Wonderman from the Bay Area Council, thanks for being a part of this wonderful day. Thank you very much. You know, I, I wish I could share...